Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you hear uh, a lot of sounds at the background, it's because um, my mom is currently having our um, veranda extended. So that's happening throughout the day. Other than that, I don't have any other time to film, so I'm just going ahead with it. So I hope you don't mind. But yeah, today I thought we'd do a get ready with me video while I talk about my head. I will be posting a video, at the, a, a few clips at the end of this video, maybe at the beginning of me going bald. I thought I'd make a whole video about me going bald and all of that. I've also wanted to do a get ready with me for a really long time. So I thought I'd combine the two into one video. And I hope that you guys don't get mad. But yeah, this is my face um, post skincare. I've applied sunscreen all over my head. I'm sticking true to my skincare blogger values, which is apply sunscreen no matter what. So, um,. I feel like a lot of things will have to change um, because of my whole uh, hair now. I think the way I do my brows have to change, so I'll probably talk about it. So I'm gonna prime. I'm gonna use a priming oil by Lila V. Uh, you don't get this in India, so if you're my if you're an Indian subscriber. Or if you're just not subscribed but you watch my YouTube, it's fine. If you're in India, you're not going to get this really easily. Um, I've never really tried any primer other than this one. So I don't really know what to recommend you guys. But yeah. So um, I went bald on the 3rd of May 2020. I don't know when I'm going to be posting this video. So yeah. I went bald on the 3rd of May. The reason why I went bald is because, first of all, um, last year I kind of um, got bleached, colored my hair and I lightened my hair and that has really, really affected my hair growth and all. And I also have this tiny spot like in the back of my hair where yeah. nothing would grow. I mean, it, not that I'm saying it's a bald spot, it's just much, much thinner than the others and it bothered me so much. So I've been wanting to go bald for like two years now and I never really did it until recently. So yeah, so ever since I went bald, ever since I, I'm talking like as if it's such it's been such a long time it's only been three days but I realized that if I do my brows too much it kind of looks too in your face for my bald head so I'm only going to be lightly very very lightly filling it in I'm not gonna try to reshape it or make it draw them the way I used to draw them anymore I'm just I'm just letting them be but yeah I'm feeling a little bit and after I fill them in, I usually just, I don't think this is going well, anyways, after I fill them in, so my mom, um, on Sunday, it was a Sunday, the day I, I shaved my hair off, um, my mom was home and, um, she, I told her to just trim my hair then. I was like, do you mind just trimming it because it's getting too long and I kind of want to maintain the same style for a while and the same hairstyle. So she was like, um, didn't you want to go bald? Uh, isn't this time, isn't this time like perfect time to go bald? And I was like, yeah, I did, but I don't know. I mean, do you think I should do it? And she just goes, yeah, we can do it today. Because, I mean, we live in a small town, you know, and... I don't know, a lot of people can be very small minded in Shalong and I didn't, and I think, and I thought that would bother my mom. And also, it's been pretty cold these days, so, you know, like, I didn't think I'd have the choice. But when I thought about it, I was like, yeah, I would never ever get this chance again. 
um, where I just have to sit at home and wait for my hair to grow out for the next month now. So I might as well just do it because if it ends up pretty bad, <laughs> no one will ever find out except for my family members. And yeah. So uh, my mom, literally, she just snapped my hair off. And after that, my brother uh, used a machine to shave off the rest of my hair and a blade to get it the smooth, but it actually started growing the next day itself. Also, I went bald because um, it's always been something I wanted to do for the longest time. I've always wanted to go bald and see what it looked like. I see a lot of women do it and they look so good. So, when I was in the process of getting my hair cut, uh, I was I started freaking out midway and I was just like, um, oh my god, what if it doesn't work out for me? And I was like, how am I going to blog? How am I going to make videos? I guess I have to stop my life for a month after this, you know? But it turns out I look great and the response on Instagram and from everyone else has also been amazing so thank you so much to everybody who um really hyped me up you know who you are and that is if you're watching this video they might not even be watching this video but yeah and now we do a concealer to conceal our flaws i'm just kidding anyways um i uh so that so yeah the main reason that I went bald is because I wanted to kind of get my hair health back and also because my mom was really up for the idea that day. The nudies all over face color in shade deep maple A on my eyes and as blush color. So um back to the back to the bald, bald situation um while i was um getting my hair cut i freaked out a little bit because i was really worried about my hair you know most women rely on their hair for their beauty and um i was insecure about my forehead first of all because i think i have a huge forehead i was insecure about the shape of my head i was insecure about um whether or not I look good, I was insecure about so many things, you know, um, that I freaked out in the middle, but it was already happening, and, and I felt like, you know, I mean, if I don't do this once, then I'll never know, I'll never find out, um, so I guess it's also a lesson for me to kind of learn to be okay without my hair, Please, and to find, you know, to find ways to love my face and body more, I don't know. I feel like going bald was a crazy decision that I've made, like one really crazy decision that I've made in the longest time. I've never been this, like this bold or this, I don't know, I've never been this way for the longest time. I feel like my life has been really boring and now it's not. <laughs> So yeah, I encourage a lot of people to, I mean, I encourage anybody who wants to go bald to just go for it. I mean, you may think that you have a weirdly shaped head, but that's not true. Like, I thought I had a weirdly shaped head, but it's just, it's a head that's really perfect for you, you know? Otherwise, you wouldn't have it, and you wouldn't look the way you are. So, go for it. Eyeliner. I stole my mom's. And I feel like because I went bald, most of my um, outfits have to change accordingly. And I just, but more than anything, I realized I have to be more confident in myself than anything to do um, to kind of carry out this whole thing. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah. Has anyone out there who's following me gone bald and actually really liked it and actually stayed bald? Let me know in the comment sections. Um, 
a lot of people ask me how I liked it and will I go bald again. No, I don't think I'll redo this because I kind of like my hair now that I don't have hair. I've decided that after this I'm gonna have hair and maybe grow it out really long because I've never done that. So maybe this channel will probably, you know, have a lot of references. Maybe I'll have a playlist just dedicated to my hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just what I feel like I should do. I'm really, overall, I'm really happy I went bald because, because I never really thought I'd ever do this. I never really thought I could even pull it off. And everyone has been so supportive of the fact that I went bald. They've been so sweet to me, so kind, so, so kind. I just, I don't know, I feel showered with blessings. Mascara, always. Oh, another thing that I also wanted to talk about in this video is that while there were hundreds and hundreds of people, like, really messaging me, I mean, I say hundreds, but I probably mean, like, 20 30 people you know while there were people who were really sweet to me about my hair transformation they while people really understood the vulnerability of it a lot of people a few people were like um why would you do that to yourself uh have you gone crazy um and they asked me if i was going through something in my life i am not going through anything i just wanted to do something for myself something that i would you know, something I really wanted to do and also something that would benefit my hair. That's it. That's just it. I'm not having any emotional existential crisis, even though it is coronavirus time and a lot of people are dying. Um, I don't want to be, I'm not like that. Like my mental health has been crazy over ever since the pandemic started, but this hair thing has nothing to do with my mental health. If that makes any sense. In fact, it's to like maybe strengthen my mental health, strengthen things. So for people who think that I'm crazy, that I've gone crazy, I've not gone crazy. Or maybe I've always been crazy. You never know. This is the, this is my matte lipstick in the shade Velvet Daddy. It's my favorite lipstick of all time. This is the final look. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video with me, for being a part of my journey from the first day I joined YouTube with my short bob to now. And I hope that you join me in my journey of, you know, growing out my hair, learning more skincare tips, sharing them with you guys. Um, yeah, I hope I don't sound so emotional because I'm kind of sort of feeling emotional right now, but... That's only because I feel really, really blessed to have um, you guys. I feel really blessed that um, a lot of people on my Instagram have been so kind to me about this transformation. And I feel I feel so beautiful. And I mean, not that I needed an external validation. Um, I think that skin, being becoming a skincare blogger has really changed that about me. But... Um, you know, it really helps to know that you have a lot of people by your side and not only were my friends on Instagram and my followers on Instagram supportive, my mom was supportive as well. She uh, she showed my pictures to a lot of people <laughs> on, in her workplace and they were supportive and my mom was really standing this look, you know, she, she said I look amazing so it makes a lot of it makes you feel really good. So thank you to everybody for um, supporting me. Uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, I'm just going to go before I start crying. See you in my next video. Make sure you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel.